This is Unity, Joy of Life. I'm Nancy Norman, and this is your Weekly Wisdom. There was an early metaphysician by the name of Emma Curtis Hopkins, and she had a special way of praying. She told her students that to use this affirmation or this prayer frequently, and the affirmation, the prayer is, there's good for you, and you ought to have it. She wanted them to know that, that there's good, that God has so much good that we haven't even experienced. There's good for you, and you ought to have it. There's good for me, and I ought to have it. Sometimes we have this mistaken understanding that, that if we pray hard enough and long enough that we can change God's mind. Well, prayer is not about changing God's mind. Prayer is about changing our minds. There's good for me, and I ought to have it. Prayer is, is changing our, our individual minds so that we can, can accept the goodness that God has already provided. You know what prayer is? It's communication. It's communication. Communication with God. Prayer is simply speaking to God out loud or silently in whatever language you may want to use, in whatever manner you choose to speak with God. It's all good. It's all good. Using words that we're comfortable with. We don't have to memorize line after line after line of after line of prepared prayers. There's no special place that we have to go. There's no special position that we have to assume to pray. Prayer is helping us to understand the, the good that we desire already exists. The good that we are seeking is seeking us. There's good for you, and you ought to have it. You ought to experience it. So when we pray, we expand our consciousness and we enlarge our consciousness so that we can accept the greater blessings that God has for us. We want, that's what prayer is. It's really accepting the greater good that is already prepared for us. There's good for you and you ought to have it. You ought to experience it. There's good for me and I ought to have it. And I ought to experience it. You know, God did not create us and then say, okay, you're on your own. Good luck. He did not create us to, um, to abandon us. God cares about us. God loves us and God cares for us. And God is loving us and caring for us, sustaining us, maintaining us. He supplies us our every need. You know, prayers have been used for thousands of years, and I like to think of how Jesus prayed. He had a formula. His way of praying was to ask with power and authority, and then to give thanks in advance. Give thanks in advance. Ask. Ask for what you really want. What you really want to experience in life. Ask with power and authority. Claim it. And then give thanks in advance. Then give thanks in advance. You know, when our thoughts and our words and our emotions are all in sync, then when they're all saying the same thing, then our prayers are answered. And our good comes to us. God loves you. And God cares for you. Talk with God. Talk with God as you would a friend, using whatever language comes to you. Make that a constant, a constant conversation with God. Keep God in your consciousness. Make that, that constant conscious contact with God at all times. Keep that, keep that going. Ask, believing, and give thanks. In advance. A simple formula, but a formula that works. God bless you and have
have a wonderful week. There's good for you, and you ought to have it. You ought to experience it.